I may just be like geographically challenged, but I felt What's up, P Nation? We just landed, and today is our very first day in Greece. We've been in Asia forever, and it's our first day in Europe. We are so excited to be here. Greece has been on my bucket list of countries for as long as I can remember. It's home of the Acropolis. It's the birthplace of the Olympics. Like we are just in history, I feel like right now. And I'm just so excited that we are here in Athens. And I am so excited to show you around the city. Yes. We got this whole thing of strawberries at a little cart on the side of the road for 150 euro. Mm. If you've been following our journey, at this point, we have been traveling for like more than 24 hours. And we've gotten to the point where we are so hungry that we're not even hungry anymore. Like that's how hungry we are. Like, like we're kind of numb to all things. So we knew we had to get something to eat. We stumbled across a bakery and we got like practically like little pizza. It like looks so good. It's got feta and olives and tomatoes. And the guy in there was like so excited to like show us around. I want to get like a really good bite. I know this isn't a pizza, but it tastes like one. And it is like the best I've had in a very long time. Anyway, we have no idea what this is. And there's no really telling what it is either. Whoa. Yum. We got mushroom in there, we got tomato, cheese, we have ham. It is so weird being back in Europe. We were here last year and the year before that, and maybe the year before that, and so it seems familiar, but after everything we've done in Asia, it really feels like we're walking in a dream. Yeah. That could be because we have no sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and it's still, it's just like, what's going on? Like, we can't be here right now. We were just in Singapore yesterday. <laughs> to come here today but we have made it to the central market stumbled upon this like massive meat market i've never seen so many goat heads in my life the biggest meat market we have ever been to <laughs> and then in the middle there's like this huge fish section of local fish yeah.
But if you know us, you know we like to stop at our grocery store. So we just stopped at the grocery store, got some, oh, it's leaking at me. Got some feta <laughs> cheese that we're gonna enjoy with the view of the Acropolis in the background. We're not going there till tomorrow. We're just like in the ruins of the Greek gods, and this is amazing. And not only did we get feta cheese, but we got a little white wine too. <laughs> Okay, we got a seat. Looking at the Acropolis, and Leah says you dip the bread in the honey, and then you put feta on it. Oh, yeah. Sweet, salty, carby. Carby. Delicious. I feel like if Rick Steves was here, he'd be very proud of us. Whew, so we just left that peaceful park. We we're just like sitting there. It wasn't a park. It was on a street, like on the side of the road. Everyone looked at us like, "Why are you sitting on the ground?" But when you're a budget traveler, sometimes you gotta eat a picnic anywhere. So the view is awesome, and I just realized I never thought I'd be coming to Greece. So thank you, Leah. You're welcome. What? They still have payphones? Cool. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi, oh, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> skipped out on Greek food and we went with falafel and baba ganoush which like I know you can kind of like compare those two together because I know there's like baba ganoush is like an eggplant dip and I know there's a Greek version of it so we feel like we're not stretching too far but this is really close to where we're staying and we didn't want to walk very farther so <laughs> very much farther I'm so tired I can't even talk anyway we're here to eat on our beautiful balcony, and it's just so nice here in Greece. First up, the falafel sandwich. Not gonna lie, we've never had one before. So, no, this could be interesting. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Why does anyone need meat? This is so good. And yogurt sauce makes everything so much better. This might be like the most flavorful, I don't know, like middle Mediterranean food. I don't know what you call this. What is falafel? Is it Mediterranean? I don't know. Now it's time for some baba ganoush. And might I say, that might be the most fun word to say. Baba ganoush, baba ganoush, baba ganoush. It's like a creamy, vegetable-y, eggplant-y, yogurt-y type of dip. And then it's like covered in oil, which I think is supposed to add flavor, but I don't really know. Okay, so now that you know what things taste like, we just thought we'd share dinner with you and tell you about our first impressions of the city. I really like Athens. I'm really surprised how Eastern Europe it is. I didn't think it would be this Eastern Europe looking. I thought it'd be more like Western style, like a Barcelona yeah. or maybe, you know, London, but it's definitely very Eastern Europe, Prague and Budapest. I might I may just be like geographically challenged, <laughs> but I felt like Greece was gonna be way more like Italy. Okay. You know? Uh -huh. Like that whole vibe. And in a in a way, I mean I, I guess it kinda is but I didn't realize that it's so close to Turkey. Like some of the islands we're gonna be going to soon are like practically in Turkey. Mm -hmm. Somehow it's Greece. I didn't realize that it was like Greece so and Turkey. Or, yeah, just yeah. like all of a sudden I'm like, Greece is Turkey. It's not, but, you know, <laughs> like I like completely went from like one idea of it being Italian to like something completely different. <laughs> I had no idea. It's just interesting. Yeah. 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 But today was really fun. I'm glad you guys stuck around with us, explored some of the city. Tomorrow is going to be amazing. I think we're going to Acropolis and yes. seeing the Parthenon. It's going to be awesome. So thanks for watching. Bye. It must be three o'clock. So we just, woo. So we just left 